Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about undefined collection in Blue Prism. I will also walk you through a practical example to show you how to create undefined collection in process. So let's get started. In previous video, we talked about collection and defined collection. I will recommend to watch that video first. Now let's understand what is undefined collection and how to create an undefined collection. A collection is a data structure that allows you to store multiple rows and columns of data, similar to a table in a database or a spreadsheet. Now what is undefined collection in Blue Prism? An undefined collection is a type of collection that doesn't have predefined fields or a structure. Undefined collections are flexible and can be used when the structure of the data is not known in advance or can change dynamically. Let's see an example of how to use undefined collection. If you don't have a predefined fields initialized here or the predefined structure, then this is called undefined. So here you can see currently we are not going to initialize any columns we are not going to add any fields here and we'll be directly like reading the data from this excel and we'll write into the collection and this can change dynamically this field the structure can be changed dynamically so if you'll see currently we have this excel file if you are going to read this then we have six column and these much of data will be added to the collection now if we are going to use that for this Excel file, this employee master, then more than five. So automatically that will be changed based on this data. But if you are using defined, so you'll have to like predefine those columns. Like we'll be always writing the data into only this four to five or like 10 columns. But here in the undefined, it is basically not defined. So let me show you how to use this undefined collection. So we'll be taking one collection stage, double click on that, put the name here, it can be like order data and here we'll mention especially undefined collection. It will help, help you to understand. Now here we are not going to pass any field, we will just click OK. Now what we are going to do, we are going to read this order sample file, this one and write to this collection. So for that, we will take here one action stage, double click on that. From here, we'll be using MS Excel VBO. To work with the Excel file, we'll be using this standard VBO. So first, we'll create one instance. We'll create instance of Excel. So we'll take here, create instance. click on this so it will create one instance and it will give us a handle click OK take it here take one more action stage and then again we'll we will choose MS Excel review and now we'll take open open workbook and now here we need to pass that handle pass it here and then we need to put the file name so file name we are going to take it from here so right click shift and right click copy as a path we will paste here do it like this in the output we will get the workbook name store this in the workbook name take this here now take one more take another excel stage and this we are going to take here again ms excel vbo and then it will be get worksheet as a collection here we need to pass that handle the workbook name and then worksheet name so worksheet name you can take it from here that is order underscore sample so we'll pass here in the output, 
will be getting the collection and that will be basically undefined collection so let's store here click ok now after that you can take one more action to close that workbook after writing to here we'll take another action stage again we'll be taking the ms excel view and we'll take here close workbook we'll pass here that, that handle workbook name will pass here okay and then here we'll just leave as it is because by default is false and if you want to save that so you need to put it true but currently we are not going to save it because currently we are just reading that excel file we are not modifying that excel right now click ok right so there are four instance we are there are four actions that we are using first to create instance second open the workbook third get worksheet as a collection and fourth close the workbook now let's link each action here and then reset and refresh now right click set set next stage now click step over step over okay you can see the handle number one and then we have this workbook name the workbook name basically is the order sample dot csv this is the workbook name we are going to read it from csv file now next now you will see here after processing this this action we have one of 10 row if you open this one now there is nothing defined there is nothing initialized in the field but if you will go to the current value you can see all these columns added and all these rows the data added to this one so this is called undefined collections now so after that we'll have close workbook so it will close that specific handle that workbook so this is called undefined collection where you have on runtime it creates that structure it adds all these columns and then add this rows the data to this collection but in the in the defined collection you will always see the defined field here right now once we'll reset this now this collection will be empty because there is nothing predefined here so this is called undefined collection thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand the concept of undefined collection in blue prism and how to use this one if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave them in comments below until next time happy learning